when you think of a data analyst in tech, what do you think of? For a lot of people, they primarily think of roles where you're working on the solutions, the software and the products that go in front of an end customer. These are the products, the things that we tend to be very aware of as consumers or businesses, if businesses are selling to other businesses, tend to be aware of. But that's not the only area within tech where you can find data analysts. If you're new here, I'm Jen. I've worked in the analytics space for 15 years and I wanna demystify analytics and analytics careers through education and coaching. You can find resources down in the description. When most people think of tech, they think of these solutions, the software, the products that go in front of the end consumers. And that is a large portion of what data analysts within tech organizations do, or even within the tech side of any other business might work on. But these are just a small portion of the total employment of analysts within technical spaces. And I like to call these customer facing data analysts. This isn't a common industry term. We don't have any one term that everyone agrees we should use or that we should even segment them. But I think it's valuable to kind of put a label on these so that you can think of multiple different groups and I can more easily describe them to you when you're thinking about data analysts in tech. So these are the customer facing data analysts, but what about the other group of data analysts? Well, the other ones I'd like to call corporate data analysts. These are the data analysts that are working on things behind the scenes that are all foundational pieces of making a business run, but we don't necessarily see or feel them as much as end consumers. These are data analysts that work in functions like finance, in audit, in supply chain, in marketing, in sales. So they're not interacting with end consumers. They might not be working at all on products or solutions that go to end consumers, but they're helping to identify who might be good potential future customers, what customers are more likely to buy more or buy certain products. Um, they're helping figure out things on the supply chain side of things. So how much product do we need to order? When do we need to order it? Where do we need it to be at certain different times? They, they interact with the rest of the supply chain organization. They work in marketing on which customers to target with different ad campaigns or different follow-up sequences. They work in finance, helping to understand maybe what cash flow might look like within an organization or to forecast future revenue and within audit to identify where are their areas of anomaly. And these data analysts can work in lots of other functions behind the scenes as well, but that's just a handful of areas that are really common to see data analysts. In these roles, they might have just a general data analyst title. They might have a business analyst title, and you can see the last video I made to find out more about why they might have both of those titles. But sometimes we also see these labeled with more specific um, niche descriptions as well. So you might see them called a marketing data analyst or a supply chain analyst, a financial analyst, um, and, and any sort of variation off of what those functions do. Um, within the customer facing side of things, you might see these people sitting within engineering organizations, especially within the tech space where engineering might be software versus a, a mechanical or an electrical engineer. Um, but within tech, there's lots of tech uh, companies that produce physical products as well as um, software as a service and, and other types of products that or solutions that go to end customers. So I hope that when you're thinking of what does a data analyst do in tech in the future, you think about these roles that are behind the scenes as well as the ones that are more directly impacting the final customer more immediately in what they do. And if you need a little help figuring out which of these roles might be the best fit for you, feel free to reach out about coaching or check the description of the video to get a link to my site where I talk more about working with me one-on-one. -on -one. Thanks so much for watching.